I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I'm just throwing this out here because it was a happenstance that I got the opportunity to do this. Years back, I ran across a, a thing called the Hugh McDonald's Rolling Mill. Now, Hugh McDonald was an Australian fella who came up with a homemade rolling mill that worked exceedingly well. A couple of design changes from the standard rolling mill. For one thing, you don't have to pass the part through it. You stand on one side, clamp the rolling mill down on it, and the part comes out to you. Let you do a lot more things with a rolling mill because you don't have to chase around the other side trying to catch the part before it comes through and then feed it back through. So I said, this is the thing I want to do. But I was working at the time and I had a lot of projects going and life gets in the way. Well, I was over at Harbor Freight. Yeah, I go there quite often because they give me those nifty little 20% off coupons. And Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. A few years back, I came across Hugh McDonald's design for a rolling mill. It's a unique design. Rather than having the material pass through, the rolling mill actually opens up. You set the material inside the rolling mill, and then you step on a pedal, and that closes the jaws of the rolling mill. The two rolls come together and push the steel out towards you. That's an amazing thought. Rather than having the rolling mill take the stuff out of your hands and run away with it, this one takes the material and pushes it towards you. That means you don't have to run around the back side, catch the part, run around the front side and run it through again after adjusting the wheel. Great design. Hugh did a wonderful thing when he came up with this. He put the plans on anvil fire. Now I haven't got the plans, but I do understand the basic principles of it, so I'm probably going to kind of wing it. Having said that, at the time that I read the description of the rolling mill, I was working. That meant I spent 12 hours a day either on the road or at the shop, and that was seven days a week. So it was a bit hard for me to get any time to actually do anything with it. Then. Push comes to shove and time goes by and, and things get pushed back to the back burner and don't get acted on. One of the things was the cost. It required a big motor. If I ran it with a half horsepower motor, which is what I had, the guy said, it's probably going to burn up. Well, I couldn't see spending the time, effort, and money to build the thing if all I was going to do was have something to disappoint me. So I said, okay, we'll wait. Well, opportunity strikes. I was over to Harbor Freight. Yeah, I go there quite a bit. They have these nifty 20% off coupons. They have one thing that I really like. These little clamps, they're inexpensive and surprisingly sturdy. If you remember, it's a clamp. It's not a forming tool. If you use this to hold two parts together while the glue sets, you'll never wear it out. You do have to be careful. When you go through the rack, look and make sure that this little jaw lines up with the top because sometimes these are drilled off at an angle. Not very good quality control. But if you're willing to do a little quality control on your own, you can go through the pile, find a good one, and you're good to go. $4.99. 20% off of that, not a bad deal. I get it for four bucks. 
And on top of that, the coupon always comes with a freebie. In this case, it was a three and a half inch flashlight. While I'm in the store, I always go over and look at the uh, open box rack. They have a shelf in the back of the store where they've had returns or somebody borrowed something out of the package before it got sold. And I ran across this thing. They sell motors and they sell lots of motors. This one happens to be a three horsepower motor. It's a 230 volts, single phase, compressor duty. That makes this a, a fairly robust motor. Three horsepower is more than enough to run this rolling mill. And as we know, I have 220 out in the garage. So now I have the two things necessary to make a rolling mill. I have a motor, I have a stock of steel. That's kind of come home with me bits and pieces over the years. I've got shafting and bearings and I do need a couple of pulleys and some gears and some chain, but I think I can do this. So now that I have a three horsepower motor, I can move ahead with the plans to make a rolling mill. Yeah, it's not going to happen fast, and I've got a lot of other things going on right now, so I'm probably not going to get back to it. But I just was so excited to find this motor. $55, a third of the price, and it works. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.